Tuesday, June the 16th, 1987. To John Cleese's for the first day's rehearsal on Wanda. Jamie opens the door and gives me a big hug and a kiss, which is not a bad way to start the film. We spend most of the day reading through. The clash of styles, Cleese, Palin, review-based, instinctive efficiency, Kevin Klein's New York method and Jamie Lee's West Coast directness makes for an interesting day. Kevin Klein is up and about with the script, touching, grabbing, shouting, always exploring every bit of the part. He has a disconcerting habit of sitting in the double lotus position with the same ease with which I would bend down. Our producer Michael Schamberg is there, his sigh and mournful tone very recognisable. He makes up an American threesome. Director Charlie Crichton makes the third of the Brits. There are many cultural clashes. The Americans can swear and motherfucker this and that, but are squeamish about a word like penetration. They like things to be worked out, explained through in a way which makes even John seem wildly spontaneous. But there is strength there, in technique, physical presence and sheer control and range with Kevin, in a bright and lively physicality from Jamie L. The scenes between John and Jamie are well played and very moving. John having early on echoed Alan Bennett's remarks from the first rehearsal of Private Function, make the characters real and the comedy will follow. Tuesday, June the 23rd. I've had the bright idea of having my character's hair curly and Barry the hairdresser goes over my scalp with the curling tongs. The result is it's quite effective. Show it to John, Charlie and others and apart from Kevin who reacts against instant decisions anyway, it finds general approval. Hello, I'm recording the second volume of my diaries, Halfway to Hollywood, 1980 to 1988. It covers a lot of films I made during that period, including Time Bandits, Brazil, A Private Function and A Fish Called Wanda. Amazing period, amazing time. I hope you enjoy it.